as we told you earlier, the man believed to be the walk-in killer was caught through the efforts of some very alert and very involved citizens. Elizabeth Anderson reports the residents of Boyle Heights are very proud of their heroic efforts. Earlier today, the residents here on Hubbard Street were filled with fear. Not anymore. Now the streets are filled with excitement. That's because the walk-in killer prime suspect was captured on Hubbard Street this morning. As soon as the word got out, hundreds of curious onlookers drove past the neighborhood. None of them could believe the prime suspect had been arrested in their own backyard. Manuel de la Torre is being called a hero. He ran to his wife's rescue today when he saw another man hitting his wife while pulling her out of her gold granada. That's when Torres grabbed a lead pipe and began hitting that man, who eventually turned out to be the prime walking killer suspect. De La Torres tells his story as his friend Robert Alvarez translates. A lot of people think he's a hero. How does he feel about that? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Crees que es, que eres el rey? <laughs> no. No, no, not no, a hero? No, no. <laughs> de La Torres was protecting his wife, Angie De La Torres, who was still filled with fear. Faustino Pignon is another hero in this neighborhood. Earlier today, he chased after the same suspect after he claims Ramirez was trying to steal his red Mustang. And even though he says he was being threatened with a gun, Pignon fought that suspect anyway. And then I got him by the neck. And got him by the neck, and then what? Then we struggled back and forth with the car. He was going forward and back with the car. Maria Marijo's face tells her story. She is still filled with shock because it was her daughter, Angie de la Torre, who was accosted in her own car by Ramirez. She knows her daughter's all right now. Ahora ya sabe que su hija está bien, ¿verdad? Ay, gracias, Diosito, gracias. And now Hubbard Street is filled with excitement. The residents here share the feelings of so many others. They say they can walk the streets again. They can sleep safely in their homes at night. And that is welcome news. Elizabeth Anderson, Channel 4 News, Boyle Heights.